everybody. I'm Carol Marks, and this is where I host my remarks on glamour, pop culture, and front page news. This podcast is a member of Give Me Liberty Media. Now, let's get right to it. This is really way too long. Well, hello and good morning. Happy Sunday. Good morning, one all, to a beautiful, beautiful day. What's happening? <laughs> well, you know what we haven't talked about? No, what? P. Diddy. Oh, my gosh. And all of that. That seems oh. like that is a lot to go over. Oh, gosh. There, and, there is. There's so much to go over. And I will be honest. I have not really been following it all that much because I find it disgusting, and I don't really want to go down that rabbit hole. Well, you know, I just follow what I see on the news and what I search for on the Internet and then what I go to and look at archives and, oh, did I say all that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I really just, you know, follow what's on the news and all that kind of stuff. But without going and looking, going down that rabbit hole, my brain goes down the rabbit hole of what ifs, mm-hmm. of what's going on, of what could happen, mm-hmm. of what what is really taking place. And that alone can send you in 64 different directions that takes you in 64 more different directions, Mm -hmm. which, you know, you you get down the warm one, you can't find your way back out of it. Uh, There's just so much. So much. And so many stars, famous people, celebrities, musicians, Hollywood actresses, actors, Man, there's going to be a lot. Yeah, this is, this is, you know, you're heading down one of the warm ones. Here's what I'm afraid. <laughs> Here's what I'm afraid. We are never going to hear the whole, Story. just no. the whole gist of no. it. It's going to be well, hidden and wrapped up and well, people being, pay, you know, people paying people to stay, you know, paying the police or whoever off to stay quiet, stay out of it. There's, you know, you, you're bringing them up, bringing up the whole, the whole wormhole situation. You know, and you keep, you, you know, keep, keep, keep going and you're mm-hmm. going to keep, you know, and you're going to, because just in what I said and what you said, you can take six different roads off mm-hmm. of what we said yeah. and follow it down and follow it down and follow it down. That's what I'm uh, saying. It's so much. Uh, it's just, you know, everybody's going to have their opinion on it. And, you know, of course my, my brain went to thinking, uh, the reason this is ta- this investigation has taken so long is that they're getting so kind of like Epstein, you know, they've got all the tapes and everything, and they have you know, our FBI, CIA, you know, whoever, whoever the hell's investigating this, one of the three letter agencies, has got all this information, and now they go to these people, yeah. they've got this information on, and say, you know, you will conform to what we say. <laughs> You will do it out of a, you know, mm-hmm. and they say, well, yeah, I guess I have to. So now they've done all this with P. Diddy and they got all this information on all these people and they're going to hold it and they're going to, you know, nuzzle up to them and go, we've got the P. Diddy tapes. Mm-hmm. Do you remember when blah, 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 this is what I want you to do or, or it'll be more like this someday. I'm going to ask you for a favor. Mm. Yeah, that's that's terrible. It's not funny. It's, not, it's really not. But that's that's what I that's what I that's where my brain goes to. You know, don't don't worry about all the don't crap worry about that the happened. criminal activity that don't he worry did. About all the you know the the kids that my got right. hurt. Right, of all that. Thank stuff. you. you know, we're not going to worry about that. That's secondary. Or the women, or yeah. the the drugs, the illegal activities. Yeah. No, that's that's not what we're. I talking mean, he's about. charged with a lot of different things: yeah. kidnapping. Hello. Yeah, and what we're what we're what we're concerned more with is. What we're going to get out of it for now. I know, but that's so things. wrong. Yes, it is. It absolutely They need is. to go after these people full on, full on, and just do it. Not, not just other people, but him too. You wonder why all these celebrities oh, want, want, don't want Trump? Mm. Because maybe they do want Trump, but they've been told. We've got this on mm. you, and you're going to vote for this, and you're going to vote this one. Mm. I think it's, I mean, I'm seriously, you know, as far as 
uh, Trump's first term and not being able to get things done because the deep state was, you, you know, stalling or, you know, whatever to, you know, keep things from getting done. I think it's, you know, if it's that deep, well, it's, then it's that just that deep in the other organizations that are, you know, blackmailing all these people that are keeping people from, you know, being the conservative or whatever side of it. You know, I think that's all in there. I think mm. it's all baked in there. That's why they desperately don't want him in office. Anyway. See, that's the wormhole we went down. Yeah. You know. There's all kinds of headlines like Justin Bieber is so disturbed by Diddy allegations amid rapper sex crimes arrest. He also just released a new song that's titled Lost Myself at a Diddy Party. Or that's a lyric that is in his new song. Ex-porn star tells cops in 2018 he's Sean Diddy Combs' alleged sex slave in resurfaced video. It's just horrible. All these things. A thousand mm -hmm. bottles of baby oil. He's recorded these freak-off things, yeah, the freak parties, off whatever. Party. Ugh. Mm -hmm. That's, that's just say, disgusting. That's why I say I don't... I, uh, uh, don't even really go down that part of it. I'm going down to the corruption part. The And they have him on suicide that. watch. And I just now found out that they are housing him in the same jail yeah. that Epstein was in. Well, Hello? It, yeah, his his defense, his attorneys and all, have been uh, trying to get him out of there to a federal prison instead of this one, just for this mm. whole reason. Mm -mm -mm. You know, and, and has anybody seen Hillary? <clears throat> no. Has anybody seen Hillary? I don't know that Hillary has anything to do with it. I'm mm -hmm. more it's more Hollywood and mm -hmm. celebrity type crap. Mm -hmm. I'm sure politics. I don't know politicians. I to me, I, they have showed pictures of. Where, I guess Sean Diddy also did these called white parties where he come dressed as white in white clothing and everything. Uh, Ashton Kutcher, yeah. DiCaprio, all of those big big celebrities were there. Now. Does I don't know. If, you know what I'm saying? Well, you, let's go back just for a second. And you said I don't know what 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 Clinton has to do with mm -hmm. it. I'm going to say one thing: where there's sex, there's Bill Clinton. <laughs> okay, I'm done. All right. Okay. <laughs> well, he was big. They were. Wrong. He was like one of the first presidents that was. You know. Hollywood light loved him, right? Prove me wrong. Mm, 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 mm. Uh -huh. It's disturbing. I'm afraid to get into it and read more about it because I don't want to. It's just it's very disturbing. It is. It is very disturbing. Mm, 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 mm. Yes, it is. Well, <sighs> that was seven minutes worth. Well, wow. <laughs> what and, else? You know, again, we we have slowed it down and didn't. We could have gone a lot further, but. Let's move on. Yes, please. What do you got? I don't know. You had something. Did I? Oh, we were going to do Dear Abby's, maybe. Well, fall is close. Oh, fall is close. Yes, fall is close. Yes. I kind of broke down and, <laughs> and yeah, surprised the sweetie, although she didn't even know it until I had to mm -mm. say something. But then she said, oh, yeah. But, yeah, I broke down and got the pumpkin spice candles. <laughs> yes, thank you. Put those up. And they and smell they wonderful. Smell, they smell good. They really do. <laughs> I'm, I must admit, I do like the pumpkin spice my smell. Now, I won't go get pumpkin spice coffees and all that stuff. And can but you, I do like the smell. Believe it or not, I have not had a single pumpkin spice flavored drink from Starbucks because the sugar content I still get my uh, uh it's it's a iced uh, uh iced oat milk shaken espresso something like that it's a big old long thing because but the calorie and the sugar content is very low yeah and then they are delicious yeah I'm proud of you for getting those low content sugar yes. things because I know how much you like sugar. I, <laughs> I do, I do. I do have a sweet tooth. Mm -hmm. But yeah, fall is here. I can kind of feel it, not only in the by smelling the candles, but the air is much drier. And I'm getting that little tickle in the throat that yes. says allergies are coming. So buy some Claritin, start taking that in the morning. And it's and football, be good to go. football season well, yeah, and all absolutely. that. Absolutely, absolutely. It's got sweater weather. 
We got all we the holidays, all the fall holidays coming up. It was 93 degrees outside yesterday oh, when we were yeah, going. But, but this Wednesday, it's supposed to get in the low 80s and temperatures are in the high 50s in the morning. So that'll be good. But we did when we were in Ohio last week when we came out to leave to come home. It was about 53 degrees. So that kind of started making us feel like it. So fall is here. Yeah. Absolutely. When is the official fall holiday? September. It's tomorrow coming up. Or oh, the tomorrow. Next day. Okay. It's very close. All right. Yeah. And when does winter start? Uh, December, the same time. So we have a very short fall season. We'll have three months. All right. Yeah, well, three it is for each season. September, October. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So really, you look at October, November, December. So the end of December. Okay. You're going to go into winter. All right. And we yeah. have all the three day holiday weekends. Yeah, coming <laughs> up. That's right. That's right. Mm. Absolutely. Looking forward to looking for. I hope fall doesn't go fast this year. I hope it goes really slow because yeah. I, I I'm starting to enjoy fall more as I mature. See, so yeah, I'm doing. I'm the opposite now. I enjoy the summers because I'm getting older and I can't hardly take the cold anymore well that's why i like <clears throat> the fall it's not cold yet true <laughs> winter is becoming a pain in the yeah. fanny but yeah absolutely mm-hmm. absolutely so what does dear abby have on store, oh, I don't know. In let's, store for us let's go look all right we have a dear abby i am picking them out the gent has no idea what i'm about to dun, read dun, dun, dun. all right dear abby my husband's personality changed for the worst when he quit abusing drugs. Oh, wait a minute. Read yes. that again. So this will be, this is going to be, ooh. All right. Dear Abby, uh, my husband's personality changed for the worst, worst. Oh, when okay. he quit abusing drugs. All right, here we go. Eight years ago, my husband of 26 years had a stroke and his personality changed. He was difficult to deal with, but with time, his old personality came back and things got better. Two years ago, he finally kicked a long-time prescription drug habit. Our finances improved almost overnight, for which I am grateful, but his personality changed again. This change has been neither pleasant nor easy to deal with. Some days, he gets angry with me for talking to him about even the simplest things like traffic or the weather. Don't get me wrong, I don't want him to go back to abusing to abusing drugs, but I want my best friend back. For at least a year now, I've been begging him to go to marriage counseling with me. He says he will, he will but has but has put no effort into finding a counselor. Why don't you find one? He grew up in the small town we live in, so I want him to choose the counselor because I may accidentally choose someone he knows and doesn't want to talk to. There's number one problem trying to keep secrets from everybody. I'm afraid he will never make an appointment, so should I just find a counselor for myself? I don't want to throw away 26 years of marriage, but some days all I think about is running away. <clears throat> Sadden in the East Coast. How about the 12-step program? How about getting in one of those? Well, she's going to have to get in one for herself Yes, first absolutely. Because... You know, that's just what you got to do. Yeah. You know, you can't change other people. Right. You got to work on yourself. Right. And if he sees progress in you, then maybe he'll come along. But he's got some other things going on with him in his brain and yeah. all that mm-hmm. stuff, too. Yeah, it's not a marriage counselor is not going to fix this. No, uh-uh. So he may want to see a, a doctor about that kind of thing. And all. So I would not venture to say... For that person, if I were to give that person advice, I would say, you just need to leave him alone and you need to go work on yourself. Mm -hmm. And hopefully he'll see, you know, that, hey, I'm not doing things right. I need some help. And he once he asks for the help, then you can go give it to him. But you got to kind of stay away from that. Yeah. Yeah. That's my that's my advice. Yeah. I mean, if it gets blatant, you know, blatantly bad and all that stuff, there's things you can do. But. 
you know, you're not don't throw away twenty six just by nagging and right. saying you got to do this. You know? Let's see what dear Abby has that's, to say. That's about. my advice. Okay. I agree. I mean, Abby you say? the individual has to change. They have to seek it out for themselves. Yeah. I mean, and if you're especially with dealing with an, an addiction like mm-hmm. that, there is going to be some behavior changes. And he's had a stroke. Yes, you know, what, that too. What other, you know? Yeah. So. All right, let me see what dear Abby has to say. Dear Saddened, I don't know what could be the cause of your husband's anger, and neither will you until you get to the bottom of it. Do not allow the fact that he is stalling prevent you from consulting a licensed marriage and family therapist. Compile a list of counseling services that not only in your town, but also in some neighboring communities. Once you have the names, show the list to your husband and ask if he knows any of them. Then make an appointment for both of you with one or more therapists and interview them. If he refuses to accompany you, go on your own. Very much so. Yep. Yep. All right. Well, there you go. Well, we had that knowledge in our brain. She probably had to go research it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> probably. All right, we, we're at 15 minutes in. Let's do a question of the day. Let's do one more. Oh, one more? Yeah, let's do All one right. more. All right, All right, we're going to do one more. You ready for this one? Uh, hopefully, it's, it's more lighthearted. Fire down. All right, here we go. Dear Abby, let's see. My middle-aged wife wants to go clubbing with people in their 20s. Dear Abby, I'm married and in my mid-40s. My wife and I have a robust social life for which we both feel very lucky and blessed. We have amazing friends who are a wonderful support system and with whom we go out regularly. Lately, our wives have been wanting to go out to dance clubs. Who's our wives? That's what I want to know. Anyway, lately our wives have been wanting to go to dance clubs where the majority of people are half our age. I'm the youngest of the husbands and in our, in our friend group. We go along despite feeling very uncomfortable. We get weird looks and the occasional comment, and it's awkward being there. We've talked about it among the guys and agree this is a tough situation. We've had conversations with our wives about feeling uncomfortable, and all we got similar responses like, well, then don't come. The one or two times I've sat out, my wife was cool toward me for several days afterward. She really enjoys going to clubs with her friends, and I don't want her to stop to enjoy, I don't want her to stop enjoying her life. I also understand she feels safer in those environments when I'm around. (sighs) This is weird. This is longer than I thought it was going to be. All right, one more, a couple more things. It's just hard for me and my buddies to feel like losers or people who are much too old to be at the club, despite the fact that we're with our wives. In my, is my perspective valid or do I just need to suck it up? Supportive husband in Texas. What do you think about that? Huh? <laughs> I, uh, I'm glad I'm 60. <laughs> because, damn, I, um, you know, uh, I don't know what to think. I yeah. think I had a headache when I was, I would get a headache if I were reading that. Yeah. Um, well, basically, it's a group of friends. They're in their mid forties. The wives want to go partying and clubbing all over town. The husbands don't want to go, so the the wives go by themselves, and they're in this club with a bunch of twenty year olds. I'd say, why? Y'all don't, what do you th- you know? Right. What are you What are you hanging on to? Right. You know what are you hanging on to? I would think that I would say. You know, hey, let's just all go to get together and, you know, come on over to the house. We'll do some things. Hell, you know, maybe we'll just crank up some music and bar- dance and party here, you know. But aren't you getting a little old for that? Yeah. <sighs> I don't know. I, I don't know. It sounds to me like they have nothing else to do or the wives are trying to hang on to that youthfulness and that's their yeah. way of doing it. I don't know. Or maybe they're getting attention from younger guys. You know, and they feel sexy or pretty or whatever. I don't know. It's not healthy. It's not. I mean, I, you know, they're there. What would you do if I was, you know, if I started going out to clubbing with a young, know, with my girl? I don't have any really girlfriends, but if I had some girlfriends and we went out clubbing, what would you think about that? I would think. What would you do? I would. I would <laughs> say, okay, y'all, y'all go have fun, <laughs> and then you know, you probably come back and go. 
I'm not doing that again. <laughs> <laughs> but that would probably be what would happen because, you know, I trust you and I know that you'd go and go, these kids are idiots. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The kids are idiots. I think that there would be, at some point, you know, the women would go, you know, what are we doing? Mm. Well, I don't know. There's some women out there uh, that just, they're not, they're not uh, mentally advanced but yet. But as, <laughs> as a group collective of women, I think they would probably, you know, hopefully, you know, beat some sense into each other. Nope. Or, you know, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I don't know. I'm going to have to leave. I, I This one I would have to say. Dear Abby, what do you think? Let's see what she says. <laughs> I'm curious. Oh, Lord. All right. Dear husband, no guy is too old to go dancing. If your problem is that you feel weird doing it, you and your friends should consider signing up for some dance lessons. Oh, oh my, my God. God. And she says in parentheses, no, I'm not kidding. Oh, my word. With someone who is experienced and has the patience to teach you, you might actually have fun. No, this is not the kind of dancing that they're doing, sweetheart, dear Abby. No, they're they're probably grinding and just, there's no dance lessons to take here. No. How do you teach? No. Uh. No. They're not waltzing. <laughs> okay. With someone who is experienced. Okay. Dear Abby, the, get, a, there's get more. a job. Yeah. Those who have two left feet and or no sense of rhythm should consider another activity on the nights their wives go dancing. P.S. Your wife should not punish you for feeling awkward about going to those clubs. She should instead be trying to help you. Oh, that's the wrong answer, dear Abby. Uh, yeah. Wrong, wrong answer. answer. <laughs> Pumpkin spice lattes oh, at 5 in the morning gosh. is the answer to that. All right. It's 21 minutes. Question. Dear, we're, we're done. Question of the day. <laughs> All right, the gent has the question of the day. I don't even know what it is. Okay. The other night, President Trump was on the Gutfeld show, and Cat Temp asked, are aliens and UFOs really real? Because, you know, he has all the information on that. And he, you know, made an answer that didn't say yes or no, but he said that, you know, the, the people he'd interview, the pilots and all, had seen a lot of strange things and, you know. So my question to you is, are are UFOs and aliens real? And is there life out there? That's a very that's simple That's a question. loaded question, too. That covers a lot. Yeah, it's, not, it's not very specific. No, but, you know, is there life out there that's trying to get in touch with us? Are there UFOs? And what about Mary Lou? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. All right. Thanks for listening. Da, na, na, na. Go dogs. What's that? Who pays your salary? What's that? Who pays? What's that? We're not a democracy.